Uh, wide receiver stack. So let's just whip through this. Dak with Dez. I love Dez this week. Same reason I love Elliott. This is a huge week, and I expect the Cowboys to go off. And I think, well, I'll always like Dak and Beasley for a PPR on DraftKings. To me, Dak Dez this week, well-priced. Dez is only $6,800. That is as low as I've seen Dez Bryant. And he has the potential to be the number one receiver on the week at that price point. Um, Rivers, we talked about. I like Rivers and Williams. I also like Rivers and Inman. And listen, Travis Benjamin, we just talked about his minus 0.2 last week. He's fallen off the radar, but he's $3,900. He has come way down. And while he seems to be the third guy there in San Diego, one play from Travis Benjamin, and you've paid for your day with Rivers. So I will do a Rivers Benjamin stack, a Rivers Williams stack, and a Rivers Inman stack and fill that in with other players. All three for me this week. Uh, Carr Cooper, Carr Crabtree, again, assuming they're both healthy, same thing. Two lineups. Stack. Um, Matt Ryan. So, again, we get all the warnings of Ryan. Tyler Gabriel will be everybody's play. He'll be a chalky kind of play this week, especially if Julio's out. I expect that he will be out. If Julio's in, I think, you know, you got to pay attention to how bad his injury is. I worry about that. He could play a couple plays and be done. Uh, but, you know, if you're going to play Ryan, you could do a Ryan Devontae Freeman and really try to sneak in there running, you know, uh, on the running back receiver front, or, you know, just do it. Do Ryan and Gabriel and pick the other six players correctly. Um, Palmer, so J.J. Nelson, 3900 bucks, been incredibly effective. Incre but people are going to forget about Larry Fitzgerald this week. $7,000, but Palmer's cheap. So I love Palmer Fitzgerald. Michael Floyd's gone. John Brown's dealing with all kinds of issues medically. And J.J. Nelson will be the chalk at 3900 which means Larry Fitzgerald will be under-owned this week and a great stack with Palmer. Uh, let's see, let's see, where else are we here? So we talked about, you know, throwing the dice out there with Bortles, Robinson. Allen Robinson, $4,000 or $4,100 or whatever he's, he's at. It's crazy. Uh, moving on to tight end. Uh, so a couple other wide receivers first. Uh, you know, I think Tyreek Hill at 5,700 will be absolutely chalk, chalk, chalk this week. So here's an idea. Going to be a lot of passing in that game. Macklin normally has been a six, $7,000 kind of receiver coming back from an injury. Looked healthy last week, 4,700 bucks. So you can make the shift this week. It's still Alex Smith's favorite target. Shift and go Jeremy Macklin in some lineups. I would not stack him with Smith. I would not play Alex Smith, but I would use Jeremy Macklin as a cheap play at $4,700. We talked about Allen Robinson. We talked about Hopkins at $5,000. A lot of risk, but a lot of reward in those two guys. And Will Fuller, same thing. Will Fuller, all the way down to $4,100. And then the other one I love is Rashad Matthews, Kansas City. Again, not a great pass defense. Rashad Matthews, $4,600, and he has been in double digits. Double digits on DraftKings, seven of the last nine weeks. He's absolutely the number one or 1A target with the Lady Walker. So those are some running uh, receivers you can fill in with your stacks at pretty good price points, all under $5,000. Macklin, Robinson, Fuller, Hopkins, Matthews, um, Rashad Matthews. Tight end. I like five in the order by price. So at the high end, I like Rudolph against Indianapolis, but that's $4,300, and you're going to have to save some money this week. So my guess, for me, it's going to be hard to spend that on a, on a tight end. I'm going to shoot to the bottom of the tight end price points. But Delaney Walker, I think he's a great play at $3,900. Jason Witten, I told you I love everybody in Dallas, $3,400. Hunter Henry, I know you have the Hunter Henry Gates thing, but Hunter Henry has six touchdowns. He's a big play guy. There's going to be a lot of points, as we said, in that game. So I love Hunter Henry at 2,900. And if Dwayne Allen is out, you know, and Minnesota, really tough to attack, but you can get them with the tight end. I love Jack Doyle, Andrew Luck's favorite target, if Andrew Luck plays at 2,700 and a great place to save money. And on defense, same thing. Three, pe three teams, depending on price point. Again, this week, I think you have to pay down a tight end in defense. So... I like the Bills at 3,700 against Cleveland. How can you not? Potential blowout, likely a defensive touchdown, but expensive. I like the Ravens in a bounce back game for their defense after the tough Patriots game uh, at 3,100. And the Giants 